It's Saturday morning farming, and I'm back on West B map, the West B farming map, West B, Wisconsin. It's been a while since I've been back here, and last episode, what we did is we went and bought horses. And so, right now, we have five, five or six horses, I think it is, but the thing is, is they need feed. I need to go buy oats. I need to go do something. So, the plan was, was there was this little section. Okay, so here's my farm. In case you guys don't know, this is what I own. When I hit X... I can choose all the land values and stuff. So this is what I own. And there was this little section right here of oats for $20,000. So what I'm going to do is purchase this section, take my combine, which it actually has a corn header on right now, put the draper on and harvest these oats. So that way our horses are healthy and happy. That's the goal of today's video. Um, so I have $60,000 right now. If I purchase it, I'll have close to $40,000. We'll buy her up. There we go. And then I need... Okay, so right now we're in the middle of corn harvest, right? I have some corn over here. Yeah, I got harvest. I have some corn over there. I got harvest. It's all over the place. Um, I got to figure this out, how we're going to get this done. We do have... I'm going to tab... I'm actually going to tab to the combine if that's okay, guys. Uh, I hate doing this because, like, with farming, I try to be as realistic as possible. I'm going to do everything. But I'm going to get the 9670. And we're going to dump all the corn we have in it in here. It's, I hate switching out headers and stuff in the middle of harvest, especially, but we need to get her done. Now, I want to leave one gravity wagon for oats. That's the thing. So, um, hopefully all this fits in this one. I don't know if it will, though, because I think our other two gravity wagons over there are completely full. I need some bins is what I need around here, because right now we don't have any bins on Westby at all, anything like that. Uh, by the way, you guys are probably wondering, like, squad, why haven't you been playing farming series, man? Um, basically, to be honest, it's because farming I, I enjoy farming and stuff it doesn't it just doesn't get that many views as some of the other stuff and um i do what the market wants even though i enjoy farming and stuff i'll do it every once in a while but it's it's just it doesn't get as many views and so that's just to be brutally brutally honest that's uh that's that's why i don't do it to be honest so we have it's completely full over there but but like I, I enjoy it. I enjoy doing it. I enjoy doing all different types of stuff. So even if something doesn't like, if I know it doesn't get as many views and not as many people will like it, you know, for example, Sunday fun days don't, they, uh, they honestly just don't get as many views. If I like doing it, I'll still post it somewhat, but like not crazy. Like if I like, you know, how do I describe this? If I like playing call of duty, right? I'm not going to just start posting every single video of on call of duty on this channel and stop playing farming somewhere, you know? So, uh, I try to do what the market likes and market likes uh, other stuff rather than farming too on farm sim. So I just try to do everything. Just try to do it. Try to do it all. So, um, oh, okay. So we do have space for this one, but I know it's okay. Right now I got it on the edge. So what I'll do is probably unhook those gravity wagons over there. Sorry. I'm literally pointing on my screen right now to those gravity wagons in the far distance. I didn't realize you guys can't see my finger until now, but we're going to go to those far gravity wagons in distance, unhook them, and use the second one for oats, most likely. And I'm going to start taking this combine back. The, I'm, honestly, the, the best thing to do would be to finish the corn and then go to the oats. But right now, our horses are going to start dying. So we better, <laughs> we, better get, we better get going, you know? And we have the ripper out there, too, which <laughs> there's just needs. There's a ton to do. Now, I've been... I've been debating starting our own farming tournament. Like, the thing is, is it's it's a ton of work, and it's if things go crazy, people are cursing at other people. They're stealing stuff off their farm. Everybody's being like, "Hey, blank blank just stole this. What are you gonna do about it, squad? Since you run the tournament?" And I'm just like, ah, I don't know, you know. So, it's that that's the one downside to the tournament. But then again, it's drama, and drama on YouTube does really good, and it's fun and interesting. So. It's, it's kind of fun, too. Just, <laughs> uh, But I did say I was going to do a trolling video of trolling Spencer TV's farm on the farming server since he trolled mine. Uh, okay, so we are stuck here. I need to go back. Oh, darn it. Can I not fit through that either? Shoot. Okay, so what we need to do, back up right here, and then I need to pull around my header. I should probably, before I do, yeah. Uh, where's our F-250 at? F-250 is over here. That's right. It's over here hooked to our livestock trailer. I need to grab my header trailer and switch out headers real quickly. It's on that header trailer. Okay, so we gotta... Actually, 
you know what? I'm just going to drop my corn header off back here and then pull that header trailer down the road behind the combine. That'll work fine. That should work fine. One thing I notice is not many people pull their header trailer with their combines. Quick question for you guys. Does like most John Deere combines, STS, you know, S700, do they have a hitch in the rear? Or is that just a thing in farm sim? Because a lot of combines in farm sim have a hitch in the rear. But to be honest, in Iowa, I always see like a truck pulling the header cart behind. I never see the combine pulling its own header like behind it on a cart, you know? I would, I would love to hear the answer to that though. I guess I could just look up on Google Images like if <laughs> the combines have the hitch or, or I could just search it on Google too. For now, I hate doing this, but we're going to drop this corn header over here. It's tough to fit through these gates. Darn it, wrong button. But uh, it's tough to fit through these uh, gates, so I'm going to drop it over there quick. And now I'll be able to fit through these gates and I got to go grab that draper, of course, and we're going to start rolling down the road. Now, maybe one thing I'll do is just take the F-250 and just pull the gravity wagon because I doubt we're not going to we're not going to fill up with that many oats, to be honest. It's I, honestly, we could probably just take the combine and not even bring a gravity wagon and we'd we'd still have room, I bet. That's what I'm guessing. I'm going to pull around here. Oh, shoot. Oh, OK. Attach her up. She's attached and she's ready to go. I'm going to pull around here quick as far as. Oh. In case you guys are wondering about tonight, like if you're watching this the day of posted, if not, I apologize for even mentioning this, but uh, I may or may not, <laughs> I may or may not live stream tonight. I'm actually going snowmobiling today, um, the day you guys are seeing this, and I'll be recording the Sunday Funny and stuff with that, uh, but I don't know when I'll get back tonight, so I may or may not be streaming tonight. We'll see. I'll probably, honestly, I'll probably be just dead, tired, exhausted, because we plan to ride a lot of miles, but... You gotta do it for the squad, so maybe I'll be streaming tonight. Um, we need so 8400 is what's gonna be pulling the graduate down the road. I'm gonna pull these back and disconnect one of them quick. Let me get the controller and there we go. Start slowly making the turn. By the way, guys, if I if I don't do if I if I never do anything or if I don't do something realistic, just let me know. But Try to be like nice about it in the comment section of how I can better be realistic. For, for example, maybe it's not realistic. Um, what wouldn't be realistic? Okay, something that like, like maybe it's not realistic just like driving through this grass. Like say I'm driving through this grass, be like squad, come on man, get on the trail. That'd be a little more realistic in real life. Tell me that. I, I love criticism guys, but just try to be fairly nice about it. And if you curse in the comment section, I won't even be able to see it because YouTube like doesn't show anything if you say like the F word in the comment section it doesn't show it it just put what's into a filtered section and your your comment never shows up just so you know but what we're gonna do is we have corn in here I gotta figure out where I want to put these gravity wagons I'll probably put them out here yet yeah I'll probably swing around here we'll put them out here just in the open that that way it's that way it's a lot easier to connect these. Because uh, it's somewhat, it, to be honest, it's sometimes tough backing up gravity wagons and stuff. So out here in the open will be nice. Uh, maybe, <laughs> the one thing is, maybe, maybe we shouldn't have put it on a hill. That, that might have been a bad idea. Oh, there we go. So now that's disconnected. I'll pull this corn gravity wagon around over here because we honestly we want that we want the empty one is the one we want right so i'm gonna drop this one off probably back here dude it'll be cool once we get some maps with some working cows too like ones that move i guess they're <laughs> not like uh just completely just like little objects that don't move at all there we go so for now gravity wagon's there somebody said now somebody said i need the follow me mod and i i I don't know where to get the follow me mod. Is the follow me mod out for FS18? Because if it is, I'll take it. I would love to have the follow me mod. That would be perfect. Uh, because like right now, this situation right here, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to take two trips. If I had the follow me mod, all I'd have to do is hit Control F behind this header cart, and the 8400 would just follow the combine, and it works out really nice. So 
We're going to take the STS, head down the road to my new property, which honestly isn't far at all. So technically, yeah, I, I don't even really need the follow me mod. It's, we're so close. It's not far. It, it, it's not far at all. There we go. Pull the STS down the road. Now, one thing I just noticed, and I, I've been like noticing it throughout my vids, is like probably eight months ago, I got I got like a cold. Like not really sick, just like for like a couple months, I always had this like cold and stuff. My nose was stuffed up. And I started realizing when I record, I don't like breathe through my nose at all. Like my nose is like, I don't know. I just don't like I've gotten so used to my cold like eight months ago that I was able to work around it and just start breathing through my mouth while I talk. So my voice, you guys are used to it, but my voice actually sounds a little weird. And like throughout these videos, uh, I'm, I'm going to try breathing through my nose while I talk. <laughs> I don't know. That's what, that's uh, you're probably like, what are you talking about squad? But like when you get sick with a cold, you got to keep going on and post, post some videos. So I learned how to work around it without like, uh, with my nose being completely, you know, clogged and stuff with like, snot and whatever you uh, mucus and stuff oh that's disgusting we'll stop talking about it man this is a beautiful map when I when I look at this honestly it's uh this is a nice map out here I'm f I'm actually full throttle down here doing 19 mile an hour it's a hilly map though man this is <laughs> this is pretty hilly. I feel like do, do you guys do you guys feel like driving a combine? Those of you guys who have drove a combine, I feel like it'd be kind of sketchy driving a combine and using this wheel to steer back and forth, especially with the the, the steering in the combine being the rear wheels. I feel like you know if you make a little turn and you get off and that back wheel like catches, you could really go like swerving all over the road and stuff. You know what I mean, but maybe I bet what happens is when you put like a combine in road gear, I bet it makes the steering wheel a lot like tighter, like a little movement or a big movement only does like a little movement in the rear. That would be my guess is what they do to stop that. If you guys know what I mean, hopefully you know what I mean. Oh shoot, did we pass it? Was I think that might have been yes. So that was for some reason I thought it was up at this farm, but we did pass it. What I gotta do is pull into the farm. And turn around. Okay, maybe maybe we'll just turn around right here. I have I don't know, is this a good is this a good area to turn around? Man, we're doing all of this for the horse oh shoot. Oh that's not good, that's not good. Okay, we're good. Darn it, we took out their mailbox! We better get moving down the road, boy! Oh the fans gonna come after us. That is uh that is illegal. That is a federal crime. Taking out a mailbox. <laughs> it's a hit and run. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we can only go 19 mile an hour deal. I I wasn't... I, I try to get real close to like things because I need to swing wide, right? But I wasn't trying to like take down that mailbox at all. Oh man. Wait, can we take down one of these signs? I wonder if we can. Sorry for the unreal, super unrealistic thing. Okay, no, we can't take down the sign. I was just testing, though. So, this is our new piece of property. Oh, dude, this is tiny. This is tiny. Oh, my gosh. $20,000 for this. Honestly, real life, that would totally be realistic. $20,000 for this piece of land here in Iowa. It seems like... Uh, well, I guess it depends how many acres this is. Let's just say this is two acres. That would be pretty realistic for Iowa. Honestly, when, when looking at this, it's tough to tell in farm sim, right? How many acres... Okay. Here's a good here's a here's a good quiz question. How many acres is this piece of property that I just bought? Only the crop. We'll say like even if I own part of the trees, we'll say that's not part of it. Only the crop we see here. It's so tough to tell in farm sim. I'm going to say it does go a ways back. Let me keep running back here. If you guys know your acres and stuff, I'm going to say Oh man, this is tough to tell. Two acres? Three acres? It could be three acres. Maybe two acres, three acres? But go, quiz question, quiz questions, quiz questions, quiz questions. How many acres are in a section? 
How many acres are in a quarter section? How many acres are in a... Uh, <laughs> I'm learning all this in uh, my uh, rural land appraisal class, so... I don't know. That's why I'm, that's why I'm questioning all of you guys. Stuff. Anyways, okay, let's get going. So there's six, 640 acres in a section, which a half section is, you know, obviously 320. Quarter section is 160. Quarter quarter of a section. And one, uh, I, what's a quarter quarter of a section? 80, 80 acres. It's it's pretty confusing all the all the different terms there are in uh, actual like appraisal. Okay, so we are going to connect to this header without running over my oats. Darn it, horses! I, uh, I apologize. I apologize. Oh my gosh. Okay, this was that was kind of a mess there. I do apologize about that, guys. And we took out some of our crop too. So I'm gonna get this combined and you know what? If we can fit all this grain in here, then we're yeah, honestly we can probably fit all these oats in here. I bet we could. So I may not even need that gravity wagon at all. Because I bet we could fit all these oats in here. This will work nice. It depends what the oats are yielding. Let's see if they are fertilized or anything. Uh does it show? For some reason I can't see if they're fertilized or anything like that. I'll just keep going. But yeah, we're easily gonna be able to fit all of them in the combine. So I don't need that 8400 with that gravity wagon back here. We we should be good to be honest. <laughs> I think this is more than like three acres. It's maybe four acres. Uh maybe not. It's tough. I'm, I'm two to four is what I'm guessing. I know that's a really that's a really vague, broad range, you know. That's uh but that's what I'm guessing. So we should, we yeah, we'll definitely be good. The oats, when they come in here, they do look a little different. They're definitely not the corn yellow. Huh. It would have been cool to own that farm up there too. Not gonna lie, it would have been pretty, uh, pretty nice to own that farm. It's pretty sweet here. I just wish, it, and it's really tough to do. I just, that'd be, that'd be cool if the cows were animated and stuff. And actually like moved around. So we are done, and we didn't even fill half the tank. The way I'm looking at the bar, it doesn't seem like we filled half the tank. So what I'm going to do is just set the header back on, take back our oats for the horses, and honestly, this isn't going to get us too far. I'm going to need more oats. So I don't know if it'll get us through like next season. Man, that is kind of weird that we have that sign just going right through the header right now. But hopefully it does. There we go. That is placed on there. We do have a lot of weight on the rear. I probably should have slid it more to the front, but this header is just not meant for this trailer at all. So I'll back up, connect. We'll give these horses the oats they deserve. Oh, shoot. Is our header still going sliding down the hill? Oh, come on. Hug up, do it. There we go. We're good. And now we'll take off. Back down the road, let me turn on, in case the car's coming, let me turn on all the hazards, everything that's going on here. Throw cruise control on. Let's hit the road, Jack. I think, I don't know if there's traffic on this map or if I turned it off. I can't remember. I'll have to check once I get back. What's really neat, though, is look at the map. I pull it up, and this is, this is real, real life stuff. Like, you can see me just... <laughs> like this is from Google Earth this is Google Earth map so it kind of like when you're playing it if you want really realistic stuff it almost makes you feel like you're farming in real life once you see this map and you see all the fields and it's exact it's almost exactly the same I told you guys I looked this up on Google on Google Maps and you can zoom in on these farms and like the cows aren't in the exact same spot but like it is really similar it is uh, it's crazy like all the roads all the you, I think even the fields they're in strips just like this. It's pretty crazy how uh, this is this is basically a replicate, exact same of this. So we're gonna stop at the stop, son, just because we're with the combine. If we're in with the truck, you know how it is, no cop, no stop. But we better stop with the combine. So I think what I'm gonna do is open the pipe up and unload into this gravity wagon. And this gravity wagon will be just our storage for oats, and we, I guess we won't be able to use it. We kind of sad not being able to use it, but. 
I think that'll work good if we just have this gravity wagon. And then what I was wanting to do is get a baler to start bailing up some of this straw too. What else do they need? They need water. They need to be ridden too. I don't. I. I don't ride a metal. Uh, water, oats. They need hay yet too. Darn it! I gotta get a mower. We gotta start mowing this stuff up. Cause these horses are hungry. Let me pull. 8400, okay, 8400 is just going right back here quick. That way I can fit the combine through, pull the combine around to load into this gravity wagon. 9670, I'm full dogger. Start unloading this puppy. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Where is my F-250? So my, uh, well, while that unloads, I'm going to grab the F-250. Right now, it's hooked up to the livestock trailer. I got to pull the livestock trailer, like, I don't know, back by the bales or some, somewhere else. Or You know what? We could keep it around here, too. I could just keep it, like, right along here. Wouldn't be a bad idea. The old, uh, or not high country, uh, but high boy. Old high boy. I love this truck. Probably my favorite mod of FS-19 so far, to be honest. There we go. Set this baby right there. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Actually, yeah, for now, okay, for now I'll just park her over here. But we're done, that is unloaded. I'm gonna start giving the horses the oats. Pull around here with 8400. Actually, I should probably pull the combine out of the way. So we'll jump with the 9670. Oh, you see that tire spin there? She burning rubber. For now, 9670, I guess. We'll just go out in the middle of the field here. There we go. Oh, my header did fall off. I gotta mess with that a little later. But I need to get these horses fed. We need to get them watered too yet. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make this turn. Okay, no way. So I gotta pull all the way down the driveway somewhere. So we're gonna around and unload these. I wonder if uh, Millennial Farmer, how farms work, is still making a map. Like early... December, late November, or right when FS19 came out, uh, Millennial Farmer emailed me and stuff about the about creating a map and stuff. He said he was gonna. I talked to him a little bit, and then he said he was gonna uh, get it done. I wonder if he, if he's still creating a map, or if I think How Farms Work was maybe that was in the discussion too of creating a map. I wonder if he's gonna be like around the farm sim community. Some people said he was gonna. I wonder if those guys are still. Cause that'd be cool. That'd be definitely cool to play their map. I know Welker Farms. I've talked to Welker, and he... I don't know if he was... Gunu? I'm trying to think what Welker was going to do. I think they were I think they were going to get his... Uh, why is this filling up with hay right now? That's weird. But I think they are going to get his map uh, transferred. What? We filled that all the way? Dude. That was $20,000 worth of land I just bought. I know, obviously, it's still worth $20,000. A little less because we took the crop off. But, Dane, we're going to need a lot of oats for these horses, actually. I just realized that. Eighty-four hundred is gonna go up here. The next thing, the next thing on the list to do on the farm is to go purchase a baler. But for this episode, for Saturday morning farming, we are gonna be done. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. And hey, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching, guys.